Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about running descriptive statistics for ordered variables. In social science study, researchers work with ordered variables very often. For example, survey data using Likert scale is a type of ordered variables, such as these questions. Individual responds by choosing one of the options and the response data are usually coded by numbers. And for these questions, for example, the data is coded using number one to five, representing each of the options. In inferential analysis, researchers sometimes treating such variables as numerical, meaning continuous. But when reporting descriptives, it is helpful to also examine relative frequencies especially when we have grouping variables in the data, because we offer, we're always interested in comparing people's response between groups. I will demonstrate using R code with an example where we can see by reporting relative frequencies and compare the relative frequency across questions and between groups, we can learn more information from the data. First, I generate an example data. In this data, we have 100 observations, response to eight questions on Likert scale of five points. And we also have a grouping index with two levels. So all the responses are coded from coded using one to five, representing a Likert type scale of five points. And we have two groups, A and B, under grouping column. So all the outcome of documents from this example will be saved to your local drive. And I will show that. First, Let's run common summary statistics. I use package psych describing all relevant variables. Here we require mean standard deviation, standard error, skewness, and kurtosis for all of the eight questions across the entire sample. Here we can say, for each of the question, we have very, very close means and standard deviations. We can hardly see any differences between the two groups. Let's save this table to a local folder. First, you need to assign a local folder where you want to save all the relevant documents. And then I use open Excel package to write an Excel document. And here it is output file. So we, save, we saved all the descriptive statistics and it's convenient if you want to copy and paste to some different sources. And then we can also run descriptive by group. You will have a longer table displaying all the questions, means, standard deviations, some all the statistics, breaking with two groups. And here we can see some difference. Some of the means are higher in one group than the other. And also the pattern of response for each of the questions differs between the two groups. We can also save this larger table as an Excel two. So here is the output table. So all these lines of code work to organize the table properly so that you can easily locate each of the statistic. Is it associated with a relative group and a, relative, a particular item? So we see actually the response pattern differs for each of the question 
between the two groups. But for only running the summary statistics, the means and standard deviations, we can hardly tell where the difference is and how the difference look like. So let's, let's examine a little bit further. First, I will plot all the variables comparing by group. This is a very basic bar chart. I'm using a bar chart because I want to compare the frequencies of each option for each of the question breaking by the two groups. So here we can see the upper row represents group A and the lower row is group B and the response to eight of the question. So we see there are different patterns when people respond to a particular question, if they are coming from group A or group B. This plot is quite simple. It, it uses basic R and you can save this table by export and save it to your local drive. For example, I'm saving it here. And you can find a plot here. Oh, you can find a plot. But this plot is too much. Let's see how to make it look better. First, let's start with report a table. So here is a frequency table by item. For example, you will have each of the question and the frequency for each response category breaking between the two groups. And you will have it for all the items. Of course, you can save the table. So here is the frequency table. We have each of the question breaking by two groups and the relative frequency, that is how many people choose one of the response category. So you can easily organize this table in a proper format into your written file. And to visualize the difference in a better way, we can use ggplot package. And this chunk of code, I use a loop to, prop, to plot each of the item, comparing by group side by side. So let's Show, let me show you what is the plot look like. This is, a, this is the, what the plot look like. So for example, this is the comparison plot for question eight. And it's, di and it's displayed by group next to each other. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Okay, my Siri just accidentally calling out. So we display the two group differentiate by different colors and display them side by side so that we can see how people's response pattern differs. Some of the people choose more three in group B, but less in group A for question eight. And such figure is plot for all of the eight questions and save to your local drive. Here, I save this type of figure and pick one folder. And you will have eight figures, each representing one of the question. So you will see how the response pattern differs for each question between the two groups. 
And of course, the, the manner of displaying your figure can, can be different if we want to you know, make information available for different purposes. And here is a different type of figure, also comparing by groups, but looks different. For example, this figure also kind of comparing each of the response category between the two groups for all the questions. But it looks different because we compare using the color to differentiate the two groups, but we display side by side of each of the response categories so that we can directly see for each of the response category, how the people from two groups differ for this particular question. And the search figure plot for all eight of the questions and the saved in pick two folder so that you can see the difference for each of the eight items. Sometimes we may particularly interested in a handful of, a handful of questions to see how, how it differs. And of course, the patterns of difference will differ across items. So here is a very, here's a quite a simple example where I show when we requiring descriptive statistics of Likert type data by reporting relative frequencies and plot out the relative frequencies can help us to learn more, to learn more from our data. And you can certainly extend it to work with more complex data. For example, you have more than one grouping variables, then we can produce such information by cross tabulate several grouping criteria. And also you can replicate the output file using this R code, but remember to change the location of your local drive appropriately. I hope this is helpful if you're going to work with Likert type ordered data. See you next time.